You know, I'm a sucker for replicas. That's probably why I collect one six scale and one quarter scale mini arcades, mini vending machines, things like that. Love what the folks over at New Wave Toys as well as Numskull are doing. Now we have Numskull releasing their number 12th product in the quarter arcade series. This time we're getting a Pepsi vending machine replica from the 1980s that does uh, have a five port powered USB hub included. Not only that, this thing actually does dispense one quarter scale replica Pepsi cans from back then at the push of a button you do get eight of these included with your purchase i gotta tell you man when i took a look at this thing i pulled it out of the box now this thing is made a hundred percent out of uh plastic materials there's nothing fancy no metal on here things like that everything is plastic but considering it's plastic they did a really good job with the molding and the design the prints the instructions and things like that and when you compare it to their other one quarter scale arcade machines that they've already released such as space invaders this thing is 17.7 inches tall seven and a half inches wide 6.1 inches in depth so it's just slightly taller and just slightly wider than their normal one quarter scale mini arcades now we all have our favorites when it comes to soda pop anyone who's followed this channel long enough knows i have a really bad pepsi addiction some people prefer coke i prefer pepsi here's just a quick size comparison with the new wave toys mini coke machine now that machine is actually a fridge versus this larger pepsi machine which is just a usb hub so keep that in mind if you're trying to pick and choose which one to buy i mean i would recommend buying both and just a size comparison of the cans here i actually was giggling a little bit which is why the camera's shaking because pepsi stands supreme and that's just my own personal preference when it comes to drinking soda pop when it comes to comparing the two products side by side i really want to put a lot of stress on that because they're two totally different products one is a usb hub and the other one is actually a working and fully functioning mini fridge. So they're two completely separate products, in my opinion. They just both happen to look like original vending machines from back in the day. Now, on the back of the machine, you'll find your on-off rocker switch, as well as your power port to plug this thing in, as well as some great lines built into the molding to run your cables. Again, USB power hub. Taking a look inside here, you do get five USB power ports. I know the uh, Polybius power hub that they made in the past, that one had more power ports, so five was a little surprising, as well as the fact that they're just, as you can see from the coloring, they're just USB 2.0 ports, but then again, they're meant to power quarter scale arcades in your collection. Now, when it comes to loading your cans in this little vending machine, they got a nice little slot here. As you can see, the cans go in sideways and they just roll and fall down the trap into the little dispensing unit built inside. You really can't make a mistake here because even if you try to put it in the wrong way, it won't work because they got that other flap on the interior, as you can see there, making sure that they only go in the right way without getting jammed. And again, the whole vending process is mechanical in nature, doesn't require any power. So even with this thing not plugged in, as you can see here, it works just fine. You can go ahead and press the button and dispense all your Pepsi cans and play with it as you see fit, whether it's powered on or powered off. I guess they went with the USB 2.0 ports because, you know, um, pretty much that's what all the, you know, quarter scale arcade machines use. So that kind of makes sense because this is what it's predominantly used for. Love the whole cable management system here. Looks nice and clean when you have stuff plugged in. Still would have been nice to get some USB 3.0 ports in my opinion, but is it the end of the world? Probably not. But let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. Now, I have to say, last night when I took this out on Super Game Room Dudes, I hadn't plugged it in yet, powered it on, and taken a look at it. Uh, when it comes to it being lit up, I mean, it lights up really nice. It obviously looks better in person than it does on camera. A lot of cameras aren't going to show how nice this looks, uh, especially with cameras having auto-dimming features and stuff like this. But still, when I compare it to the lighting effects on the Coke machine, there's definitely going to be more hot spots that show up on people's social media posts and things like that when they take photos of this thing, as you can see here. It's probably gonna come out looking like this in a lot of people's photos, depending on what cameras they use. But in real life, it's gonna look closer to this, as you can see here. So there are still gonna be some noticeable hot spots where you see the light bars running north and south on this thing. But does it light up horribly in person? No, but you're gonna be able to tell it on people's videos and photos. I think it's gonna stand out and make it look worse than what it really does. Minus the lighting being slightly too bright in my opinion, even knowing that in this camera shot the lighting looks brighter than it should, or that, that it really does. As you saw in the last camera shot, the lighting looked pretty good, except for some bright height spots, but it does the job when it comes to what it's supposed to do as a USB powered hub, no complaints, plugged in Space Invaders, and it's working, it's running. 
I actually wish there was a setting to turn down the brightness just a little bit. I wish they had like some kind of like little dial that you could turn and adjust the brightness on the Pepsi. You know, give owners the option how bright do they want it to be or how less bright do they want it to be. So for instance, this Coke machine is actually turned on from New Wave Toys. Let's go ahead and dim the lights in the room and you'll kind of see how because of how bright the lights are on the Pepsi machine, the camera is going to not pick it up as nice as it does on the Coke machine. As you can see here, we're getting darker and darker. You see the Coke machines lit up and it's not obnoxiously bright, etc. So keep that in mind. A lot of times when you're taking your photos and pictures or making videos of stuff, you're going to have to tinker with your background light settings, your camera settings, etc. To, to show this thing off as to how it really looks. Which, again, as you can see here, this is what it's really going to look like it, to the naked eye when you're actually in your house looking at this thing. It's not horrible, but it's definitely just a little too bright in my opinion. Overall, minus not having USB 3.0 ports and the light being just a little bit brighter than I want it to be for $170 for a replica Pepsi vending machine. I'm overall, I'm satisfied with my purchase. I like this thing. I'm going to keep it as part of my collection. End up putting it on display here as we finish the renovations in my home. And it'll look really cool sitting next to all the other mini arcades in my collection. Let me know what you guys think. Give me your honest feedback, reactions, comments below. If you enjoyed this quick product review, give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.